Good evening and thanks so much for tuning to Fox 23 News at 9. I'm Zach Seminar. Southern Miss kicks off the 2019 season on Saturday when they welcome in Alcorn State to the Rock, but they'll be without standout wide receiver Quez Watkins, the junior who sat out the spring semester at USM to attend a junior college so he could regain academic eligibility, won't return until the team's third game of the year against Troy. But head coach Jay Hobson likes the depth at wide receiver in Watkins' absence. I'm extremely, extremely impressed with uh, with our um, receiving core. Those guys have really done a, a great job. They're a bunch of competitors. I think we're deep at that spot. So uh, again, we're we're I'm excited about that position. A lot of guys that go to work every day at that position. So again, it's been stiff competition, and uh, you know, we're, we're a team that can put play a lot of players at that spot. The college football season kicks off in earnest later this week, and Mississippi State gets things going with an early kick down in New Orleans on Saturday morning. Former uh, Louisiana, formerly known as Louisiana Lafayette, are one of the favorites to come out of the Sun Belt Conference, and Coach Joe Moorhead gave his initial thoughts on the Raging Cajuns and Saturday's opener earlier today. So certainly Louisiana, very, a very talented team, um, and as you see in openers, uh, you know, a lot of it goes into turnover margin, a lot of it goes into special teams play, a lot of it goes into execution. You certainly enter the game with the, an, an element of the unknown, where just like us, they've had an entire season to kind of study what they do, uh, find out what they do well, uh, fix what they don't do well, and then, you know, look into other people. And Back on Friday, Mississippi State backup quarterback Keaton Thompson entered the transfer portal following his failed quarterback battle to Penn State transfer Tommy Stevens. After a competitive first couple of weeks of camp, Stevens separated himself as a clear-cut starter. And while Thompson takes some time away from the team, Moorhead spoke of the junior QB. Uh, myself, KT, and Coach Bronner met yesterday. We're scheduled to meet again either today or tomorrow and kind of see where he's at with that. But, uh, you know, I understand that's part of it. And student-athletes are exploring, you know, the different possibilities. And I think it's probably... Uh, most common at that position. So you look across the country at you know, starting quarterbacks being named and you know the next day or so someone going in the portal. So uh, you know that's the landscape of college football right now. The portal giveth and the portal taketh away. So the Miss women's soccer team off to a bit of a rough start after a heartbreaking loss last night on the road to southeast Missouri. Alice Campos and Haley Pahovitz each scored for USM. Lady Eagles will look to score their first win of the season Thursday at Lamar. River Ridge, Louisiana is this year's Little League World Series champion. The kids from the New Orleans area shut out Willemstad Curacao 8 to nothing to capture their first World Series title. Pitcher Egan Prather led the way, pitching a complete game shutout with six Ks. On offense, Reese Russell set a new Little League World Series record with 17 base hits. Louisiana, the first team to lose their opener of the World Series and go on to win the title. They outscored their opponents 41 to 6 after that opening round loss. And Rory McIlroy got $15 million richer over the weekend after winning the FedEx Cup championship. The Irishman finished three strokes ahead of second place Xander Shoffley. Rory joins Tiger Woods as the only multiple FedEx Cup champions. $15 million prize for a winner. That was the largest payout in golf history. McElroy's caddy, Harry Diamond, he's going to collect a million and a half dollars from those winnings.